do my hair toss. Check my nails. Baby, how you feeling? Hey, bombshells. It's me, your girl, Hazy Baby. And I am back with another video. I have been so much support and so much love and my TikToks and my reels is like going all over places. I want to thank you guys so much for everything that you've been doing. All the sharing and all the comments. It really makes me feel really, really good. I really, really appreciate it. I'm not going to worry about, about it too much. But if you did read the title and the description, you know that we are talking about purses today. Yes, I am doing a purse haul for you guys. It is a Shein slash Rom Wee um, purse haul. Uh, I know it's overseas brand um, of clothing that you shop online. They have a website. They have um, an app that you can shop off of. It has a lot of really great stuff. They've gotten some, um, gotten better over the past like I'm gonna say like year or so not sure how long it's been out I've only been shopping with them maybe like a year or two now um but they've gotten like a lot more plus size clothing um a lot more plus size women I'm seeing um are shopping there as well their accessories are amazing but today we are talking about the purses I have so many cute purses to show you guys um I'm just super excited to do it so um let's get into it. this purse right here is just a cute cute little crossbody bag black on black you can't go wrong with it i'm trying to tell you i i was when i saw it i was like oh my god like it's so cute it's actually a nice like pleather material it has this like nice little strap here of course they stretch this all the way out and it's pretty long i i mean i can't wear it across body because I'm, you know, I'm a big joint so and i got these big old things so it ain't and it just ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work it's all so cool i i ain't accepted that i wore this to um my aunt's funeral actually and my sister when she saw it she was like oh wait can i have that i'm like no you can't have my, my bag oh so, yeah it really caught her eye and so i know like my fashion is good my sister gets excited about something because she's like a fashionista i'm like all right i did good i did good mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but yeah so inside of course um it's the same material all the way through the, um, the inside, there's like this little zipper pocket here, um, you know, for change and money and all that kind of thing. It's actually a nice little little purse. I, I fit quite a bit in there. It's, it's really cute. I like it. It's, it's sturdy. It doesn't feel super expensive, but it doesn't feel cheap either. So this is this first little purse right here. Okay. So getting into our next purse, um, this is a little a cute little handbag. I actually was disappointed when I bought this bag because I thought this little geometrical like triangle designs, I thought it would like kind of like fold in. I thought it would be like a more like a 3D-ish kind of design. I didn't know it would just be kind of like printed on, on here. Um, but nonetheless, it's still a cute bag. Um, it does, it doesn't feel very sturdy. It does feel like it will fold if there's like nothing in it. There's no stuffing or anything in it. And it's, this also can be turned into a crossbody bag. It does have a strap here. But again, it does feel like really cheap. I wouldn't rely too much on this, this strap. And I haven't worn this anywhere yet because you know, through the quarantine, where were we going? What were we doing? <laughs> but not much to say about this bag. I, like I said, I was a little disappointed that the design wasn't really like a 3D kind of like embossed design or anything like that. The strap feels good. This strap feels actually pretty good. But it does. But the things that it's holding on to again is like a really cheap material, very thin like pleather material. Um, so I will be careful with handling it. So, there's this first, the second bag. This is the second bag. This next bag is it another crossbody. I have quite a few crossbody bags, which I realized as I was like getting the bags out to get them ready. I was like, I got a lot of crossbody bags. I'm like, okay, well, whatever. But this yet again is another crossbody bag. The material is not, again, not very sturdy. Not as sturdy as the very first bag, um, but it's not super cheap either. I don't see it like creasing too much if you took the, st the stuffing out of it. Um, or creasing at all actually because it's actually kind of like 
a harder material, but um, it's like that snake skin design or alligator skin or whatever. It's a reptile type skin. Um, of course, it is pleather. Um, but nonetheless, a really cute, really nice bag. It has this gold strap here, which is the same as the strap on the first bag. They all come with stuffing. They all came in plastic or in dust bags as well. The strap is gold. It's a nice heavy strap, actually. Not too heavy as to where it was like, oh my God, like this is weighing on my shoulder. But it's it's a nice, like, sturdy strap. Very cute, like, going out bag. Um, of course, you can wear it as a shoulder bag and a crossbody if you're small enough, which is how the girl wore it in the picture. Not a lot of space on the inside. Maybe, like, your phone some lip gloss, you know, something, something, some small things in here. But again, it's just a going out bag, so it's not really like you can put your whole life in the bag. Nice material on the, on the inside too. Not much to really say about this bag. I, I would wear it with maybe like a cute like dress or some a nice sweater and some tops and some tops and some tights or a cute little t-shirt and tights just to dress, kind of dress up the outfit. I feel like it's Cute, cute little date night, girls' night, club night, whatever. Um, in the house, want to do some TikToks kind of night. <laughs> well, um, yeah, here's this next bag. So this next bag, this is one of the um, first bags I got from Shein. Actually, it was really weird how I acquired this bag. I bought some things from them, and I got a few items like a whole order that was like it had to most definitely be for somebody like way way smaller than i am so i was like what the heck like what is this and why do i have why was this it came with my order and i can't remember what it was that i, I think i wore like some tops at the time when i um got it and i was like okay so it came with this bag and like a little outfit and i don't know if they had sent me the wrong thing i did try to contact customer service like hey i think you guys sent me <clears throat> the wrong person's items and they were like no that was supposed to go to you and i was like okay cool i'm not gonna argue with you so that I, I didn't pay for the stuff got some i guess somebody was looking out <laughs> but anyway um this is yet another little cute little bag it's a it's a nice little sturdy little bag too um it comes with this like really nice strap to turn it into, of course, a crossbody or a shoulder bag. Again, that, that pleather material, but it's still cute. Still like that, that alligator skin um, print and everything. Again, not much you could put it inside. There's a black inside here. Cute little going out bag um, to carry your, your little stuff if you want to just carry a purse, but you don't want to carry something huge. This bag will be perfect for that. Um, I like, I, I, um, my sister's kind of funny because she was like, oh, you would get into like neon colors when it's too late, when it's not on trend. And I'm just like, I've never been like an on trend person. I've always worn whatever appeals to me. I was used to be a little skeptical because I'm like, mm, I'm a little too big for that stuff. But then I was like, you know what? I'm going to wear what I want to wear, when I want to wear, how I want to wear it, and I'm going to look cute in it. Boop. Um, that's, I really appreciate that it came, that this came on here, like it's plastic on the strap so that the strap doesn't get scratched up or, you know, doesn't get, you know, any kind of like tarnishing or whatever. This came in the dust bag. It came with plastic over top of the dust bag to keep it nice and neat and cute. So here is this bag. All right, moving right along to the next bag. This is another um, black and white bag, you know, pleather bag. This one I, I did make sure that I looked at because after the first one I was like, mm. but I did make sure that I looked at the description and looked at the picture really closely so I knew what I was going to get when I bought this bag. So I was expecting, that, you know, for it to be printed on there. And yeah, it's just it's like didn't have much expectation for it. I just thought it was a really cute bag, and I believe I got it for like really cheap. I thought it was cool that this came with like a plastic inside instead of a paper inside. I don't know why I thought it was cool, but I was like, oh, it's got plastic inside instead of paper. Very weird, very weird things for me to be excited about, but I was excited about it. Don't judge me. This also comes with a gold chain. This one is not as weighted as the other one, but still a nice chain nonetheless. Um, I 
think that was the only difference in the picture that the picture had like a different chain or like a thicker um chain than this one than, than it has of course when it came here um but nonetheless it's still a cute chain cute removable chain as well if you want to carry the purse as just a clutch i didn't used to carry a lot of purses i wasn't, really wasn't into purses um, when i was coming up um I tried to get into them. I really did, but it just it didn't strike me. So I was like a pocket person. Like I put everything in my pocket, in my pockets and my boobs. And, and you know, my fiance, you know, boy, he was my boyfriend at the time, would be like, "Uh, why don't you just get a purse? Wait, what is wrong with you?" And I'm like, "I'm not your average bear. Leave me alone." So anyway, um, but now I am very much into purses. I do like to have a good purse, a nice book bag, something to carry my, my stuff in because I have so much stuff. Like It's like, I feel like purses make you accumulate stuff to carry, but it's like, at the same time, you already have like a bunch of stuff. Like as a woman, I have a bunch of stuff. Wallet, keys, lip gloss. I might have my lipstick and my liner just in case I gotta touch up. My little makeup bag, I might have that. I have an extra pair of earrings, baby wipes, all kind of crap. And I'm like, and I'm like, okay, all this cannot go in my, my pockets. I can't do this anymore. I cannot torture myself like this. Let me get a purse. So, here you have it. <laughs> but anyway, it says a cute bag. It could be turned into a crossbody bag. Um, it's kind of sturdy, not super duper sturdy, like where it was like you know it will stop a bullet or anything like that. No, won't do anything like that. But it is a nice sturdy little cute little bag. Um, I can see like increasing if the paper is not in it. I don't know where this smudge on the back came from. I don't know if it came up on camera. I was so upset. I'm like, what the hell? So yeah. Um. Anyway, I'm rambling. Here's this next bag. So, onto this little next purse that I have. I was so disappointed um, when it came in the mail because, as you can see, because it's such a soft bag, pleather bag, you know, it got smashed. Um, it wasn't in a box, it was actually in a, you know, their plastic packaging, and it upset me, because I'm like, what the hell, dude? It has a little snap hook right here, a snap hook, a little snap right here to snap it closed. It is a really small, and I mean like small, purse, okay? I have a big ass, I have a big head, so... As you can see how small the purse is, you're not going to fit much in here unless you have like one of those little like small compact wallets. Like it's like a, it's like a little lip gloss purse is what I call them. It does have this little strap to turn it into a crossbody or a shoulder bag. They did have a black one as well, but this one stood out to me the most. It's an ivory green color. It was my fiance hated pearls. It was kind of funny. But this big string of pearls right here and then it has like the gold finish. And I was like, that is really cute. Like, it's this very like old timey kind of like uh, it's the it's it's the twenties and I'm I'm fancy and I'm sipping my wine next to my chaise lounge. It's, like, it just get okay. That's a lot. Just a story for a purse, but it just gave me all of that. Like, that's all the vibe that it that it gave it gave off to me. So, it's actually a nice little chain. It's not heavy at all. Um. I do, I would say be careful with it though. Like don't be too rough with the chain. It hooks on so it does come off. I did see the girl kind of like carry it like this as well. I wouldn't carry it by this. Um, or if you did, be just be, be, be extremely careful with it. You don't want it to pop and then your, your, your pearls fall off or anything like that. But it's an adorable little bag. It does have these little legs on it so it can stand up. But again, like it's not right how it's supposed to be. So I'm super, still it's, it's, a, it's a cute bag. So oh, here is this little, my little number here. We're gonna call her Marilyn. No, we're gonna call her Dorothy. This is Dorothy. This is another one. This came the same time as um, Dorothy came. <laughs> Again, it was in, it was in their plastic packaging. So it wasn't in the box like it was supposed to be. Hmm. So it got smashed. I thought this was so cute. Look how it looks like a little like, like a little tissue box, like a drawstring. 
purse bag. So you, you pull that out and it opens up. And it actually opens up pretty wide too. It's like so you can really like get your hand down in it without having to like, okay, give me shampoo in. Nice material. I can see it creasing which I would be careful. I'm actually probably going to get a box to put this bag into and kind of stuff it with some stuffing. But try to get it to reshape. Because if you see here, like it's not shaped kind of right. It's kind of like morphed a little bit. Uh, I wish that I wish that the designer had like a sturdier inside like with the cardboard where it's inside of here i wish that was a lot sturdier um for the bag but for the price it was a really nice bag um you know and i'm not gonna say that i hate people say oh it was cheap so i guess i'll expect cheap not necessarily because you know it's, i know sometimes you get what you pay for but some cheap stuff be good stuff like makeup um <laughs> but anyway it has like a felt inside um I felt inside here, and it's red on the inside. I like red and purple together. I just, it's, I just do. Um, it feels really, really nice. And it did come with like some, some stuffing, but not very much. I wish they had stuffed it a lot more. Um, if they were gonna, you know, like I said, put it in a plastic bag. I'm not gonna get over there. I'm not gonna stop saying it. I'm not gonna stop mentioning it because I'm upset. Um, it comes with a very weighted, um, weighted strap. This is like a nice way to like, I would, you know, you knock somebody with this strap and it'd be, yeah, a nice little mark on your face. But let me stop being fun. So this is like a little hook here. Um, it opens up like that and you strap it onto the bag, you know, like that to kind of create like a little handbag kind of deal. And of course this hooks on to the bag as well with a hook also. Um... And just push that onto there and it'll create a, a show uh, make it turns into a cross body bag so it's kind of like a two for a one kind of deal because you get a cross body bag and then you also get a nice little handbag so that's that this is how it looks um when the girl carried it in the picture um again it's just draws right here right back closed there's no zipper no buttons or anything it's just this drawstring that holds the bag closed and that is the bag all together So, this is another one of my favorite um, of the bags uh, because it's just it's just a cute bag. I like the detailing, like the I don't know if you can see it because of the because of the ring light, but the like stitching on it is is really nice stitching. It's a nice sturdy bag though. It's not like you know a leather bag or anything like that. This bottom part, this is what I meant by the last bag. I wish the inside of the purple bag um was a lot harder like you see how I'm I'm like really like squeezing this bag and it's not folding it's not breaking or anything like that and I can appreciate the designer of this bag and it makes you feel like you're getting a high-end quality bag and you know for a very cheap price so this is this bag um it comes with this gold strap of course another crossbody bag and I noticed that I do have a lot of like white or white-ish kind of bags Hmm. <laughs> but anyway, this bag it does draw. It's kind of similar to the chain of the purple bag, and yeah, I believe all the purple bag, um, because it's like that kind of like linked um chain here. There is this little kind of detailing here. So once the the bag is is locked, I believe this goes inside of here. And it kind of just sits in there. Or maybe it goes in the other way. Because I believe it's supposed to sit in there some kind of way. So I thought that was really cute too. This twist, this little latch right here. And of course it comes off. It is magnetized as well. Um, it's magnetized here and it is magnetized under here as well with this little snap. Little magnetized snap. I said this is a really sturdy bag it's like a nice really sturdy bag i don't want to mess it up too much and i don't want to break anything i'll cause the creasing but a nice little inside of the bag this little zipper pouch is every i believe the first bag maybe the second bag that i showed it's black on the inside nice zipper she has like something like more like the growing sexy kind of stuff like you know boat on a party on a yacht kind of stuff <laughs> 
<laughs> but uh, yeah, definitely get their their website a, a check out because they have a lot of cute stuff, a lot of cute stuff. Um, they even got some like household items. Like I bought this little um, dream catcher from there that I'm gonna put on my wall when I redecorate my room. Um, but anyway, back to the bag. Talk about the bag. Here is this bag as well. Okay, this bag I keep in the box because it's very special to me and I don't want nothing to happen to it. It girl, you're about to see why. It's in a box. It is in plastic as well. And it has bubble wrap on it. This bag I thought, wow. And I thought it was going to be a lot smaller than it actually is but it's actually quite a a nice size again comparing to my big old apple head a nice size bag um it has this plastic chain here it is plastic the whole thing it's like a hard acrylic plastic and the detailing on the bag like look at these little sunflowers here i thought that was so cute and i added this little keychain that i had gotten before i got the bag or no yeah before i saw the bag i had had this little keychain so i added this added this on here this is uh, this is from rhyme weed but yes i thought this was so cute and i would take it out the plastic but it just i, I don't want to i just want to preserve it for me <laughs> this this little latch here it is magnetized um i believe it does no it doesn't turn so it just kind of like lifts up and in the opening it's magnetizes that closed. It's a hard, I mean hard plastic bag. Nice like pointed bag. Very cute statement piece um, kind of bag. Very cute for summertime, um, you know, pictures and everything like that. I thought this was so, so cute. It just struck me. My sister said it was like a dupe of another bag, like a Louboutin bag or something like that. I'm not sure. I'm not really into high end, so I don't really pay much attention to it. I mean, well, high end clothing, things like that. I mean, who doesn't like that kind of stuff? But I don't really follow it, so I, don't, I can't tell you. I would be careful with the strap though, because it's not a heavy. I mean, this is nice hard plastic, but I would I would be I have fear of like cracking it or breaking it. Um, so I would be careful with the bag. I would maybe like go buy like another strap, um, like, or use one of the straps from the other bags to kind of like give you know carry it around or whatever, or just you know just be careful. Be very careful because she she's special. She's special. And here is this bag. <laughs> so last but certainly not least, this is also one of the very first items, period, that I bought from um, Shein or Ram Wee. Um, it's just this little cute little fuzzy crossbody bag. Um, it's a heart shape. I thought it was so cute. I'm like, this is so cute and it's fuzzy and it's, it just feel nice. And it's not like, of course, it's not sturdy. It is just a little fuzzy bag. You can't really fit much in here. Like that's that's as, as about as far as it goes. But it's not wide. So, you know, it's like a little coin purse. I said lip gloss. I, I don't even think your phone, unless you have like a really small phone, could fit in here. This is just something cute to wear. Um, just to just to have on. Nothing special about it. Um, but the fact that it was heart shaped and it was really cute. It was adorable. So um I really liked it. I like how, how fuzzy it is. I do keep it in the plastic and keep it away from anything because I don't, I, I find that when you wash things that are fuzzy, they never go back to how they're supposed to be. So I try to keep it, you know, under wraps and you know, all that kind of thing like that. Um, this is the same chain as the white, black, white stripe bag. Not a very heavy chain or anything like that. Um, so yeah, this is this bag. I will do a part two of um, 
these bags. I, like I said, I run out of time. Phone's dying, all that kind of good stuff. So I want to just get it out there. I hope you all enjoy the bags that I showed you today. I will try to find all the links and all um, and put it down in the description. That's pretty much it. Again, thank you so much for the support that you all have been sending me. All the outpouring of love. I really, 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 really appreciate it. I really, really enjoy making TikToks and reels and making you guys laugh and you know giving information. Um, if there's anything you want me to try, anything you want me to try on any kind of makeup look you want me to do I'm, I'm all up for it and of course put it here on YouTube make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel I have so much more great stuff coming out for you guys that's really it stay blessed stay happy make sure you love your loved ones while they're here stay COVID free um, and just enjoy life enjoy the rest of your night enjoy the rest of your day I'm out of here bye